Well, my name is Sanchali Arora and it will be an honor to be your host for the entire day. Now, I would like to invite on forum Dr. Anurag Batra, Chairman and Editor-in-Chief, BW Business World and Exchange for Media, to deliver the welcome address amongst, of course, everyone putting their hands together. On the future of digital media, it's my privilege on behalf of DNPA and Exchange for Media to welcome first the Honorable Paul Fetters, who is a member of parliament in the Australian parliament. He's the former minister, and he's done significant work in making sure that the publishers and the media ecosystem is equitable to all stakeholders. I must also welcome the chairman of, he's a host, uh, but you know, protocol must be followed. So I must welcome Mr. Tanmay Maheshwari, who's the chairman of DNPA, and he's the chairman and MD of Amar Ujala. So uh, under his leadership, DNPA has put this together. I would also like to acknowledge the efforts of Mr. DJ Narayan, who's been my friend for 27, 28 years, who one day called me and said, let's collaborate. I remember Rajiv Verma, who in my view was one of the best CEOs media has had in the last 20 years, also had called me two years back and said, Anurag, we must collaborate on this. So DJ, it's your vision and your and Sujata's efforts, along with the Exchange for Media team that have made this possible. Today, we have Mr. Sukumar Rangnathan, who's the editor-in-chief of Hindustan Times and among the finest and highest integrity editorial heads of any organization in India. Uh, Suku, thank you for being on time. It's winter. We also have leaders from the media industry, CEOs, promoters. I can see Mr. Avinash Pandey, who's the C CEO of AVP News Network. Mr. Puneet Jain, who's the CEO of HT Digital Business. Ms. Rachna Burman, who's written on media and has been um, in senior leadership positions in Times of India. I don't know her current position. Um, all these speakers who are here and everyone who's watching on the broadcast. I just want to say that the last three months, uh, three years of COVID have made sure that digital has become the first choice for most consumers of content, whether in the text form, audio form, or the video form. And I must say, Mr. Fletcher, that India as a country, it's not an either or country. I must tell you that the newspaper owners, the newspaper publishers, the magazine publishers face a challenge of rising newsprint costs, but on revenues, they have continued to grow in the last 12, 15 months. So their challenge has come from the rise in newsprint costs and not from revenues. The revenues in print continue to grow. The revenues in digital continue to grow. The revenues in television continue to grow. So clearly, India is not a or and or country. You know, it is an and and country. Everything is growing. Newspapers still have a lot of penetration to achieve. For a lot of readers, newspapers continue to be the number one choice. And the newspapers like Hindustan Times, uh, you know, TV broadcasters like ABP have morphed them into digital first players. I know that dig digital push of Hindustan Times is working out very well as an example because Suku is there. The DNPA's mission is to help the digital publishers grow and create the right policy framework along with the government stakeholders to provide a level playing field to all the publishers and be an enabler in this fast changing ecosystem. Today's initiative is a small step in that. I hope th and I'm sure the DNPA conference will become an annual conference and will be bigger, grander, and we'll have you ev every year. This year we also, under the aegis of DNPA, start the E4M DNPA Governance Awards. These are digital governance awards. We will be giving awards in eight categories in the evening. Shiraji Chandrasekhar ji will join uh, virtually to be the chief guest. The jury chair, Mr. Sunil Arora, and Mr. S. Ravi will also join along with other jury members, uh, Najmazi and uh, Dr. Mitra. Uh, so we'll be giving, giving away those awards. These awards have been done through a jury process. And when you see the winners tonight, you'll see that the government of India and the policy makers are doing a great job in enabling an ecosystem that helps digital grow to the next level. I don't want to stand between you and the speakers, but I would like to 
express my gratitude to all the publishers for doing what they do. They not only build businesses, but they build aspirations, bring the right information to readers. And digital, there I say, is more bold than sometimes the other media platforms. So digital is truly representative of the bold audiences that it serves. DNP has done the right thing by instituting this conference and instituting these awards. Kudos to you for being part of the inaugural cohort. God bless you. Thank you.